Here we're going to look at uh, a, a progression of Nicolas multiplication, and this time it's using a working base, which can either be a multiple of a power of 10 or a factor of a, a multiple of 10. So um, we'll start with the example of um, 52 multiplied by 54. And we're going to use 50 as the working, working base. And initially, we'll take it as 100 divided by 2. So that's the relationship with the real base. The real base is 100. We divide it by 2. We've got the working base, 50. We notice that 52 is a surplus of 2, 0, 2. And the number of digits here is equal to the number of zeros in the base, the, uh, the, the real base, that is. And uh, here we have a surplus of 4. Now, the right-hand side is uh, exactly the same as with um, ordinary Nicolas multiplication. We multiply the, uh, these two numbers together to get 0, 8. And then we cross-add either 54 add 2 or 52 add 4, either in either direction, and get 56. And then, to finish off, we apply the proportionality uh, uh, divide by 2 to the left-hand part of the, uh, of the answer. So we divide 56 by 2 and get 28. So the answer is 2808. Notice that we leave the right-hand side alone. <coughs> Let's take another example of 48 multiplied by 46. Again, using the working base of 50, as 100 divided by 2. We can look at the deficiencies here of 0, 2 and 0, 4. And on the right, multiply 2 times 4 is 8. On the left, we cross subtract. 46 take away 2 is 44. And then as before, divide the left hand part by 2, giving 2, 2, 0, 8. We can also use, with the same uh, multiplications, we can use 50, not as 100 divided by 2, but as 10 multiplied by 5. And this works slightly differently, um, because when we write down the surpluses here for, uh, of 2 and 4, we only allow space for one digit, so we have 2 and we have 4 here. And again, that follows the number of di uh, zeros in the uh, real base. As before, we multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. And then cross, cross add gives 56. And this time, we look at this uh, proportionality of multiplying by 5 and do that to the left hand side. And this gives the 280 here and we have 2808. And the same thing can be done with 48 times 46. This time the deficiencies are, are 2 and 4. We multiply on the right to give 8 and cross, cross subtract to give 44. We then multiply the 44 by 5 and we get 2208 as the answer. Let's take another, another example, 20, 22 multiplied by 23. And here I can take the working base as 20, and we'll look at this as being 10 multiplied by 2. So the real base is 10, the working base 20. Now the surpluses are plus 2 and plus 3. And we multiply on the right to give 2, 3 is a 6. And on the left we cross add, giving uh, 23 add 2 is 25. And then we follow this proportionality of multiplying by 2 and get 5, 0, that's 25 times 2 is 50, 5, 0, 6. And I've used this example because we can have a look at um, how this works. Let's suppose we have a rectangle which measures 
22 units by 23 units. So here we'll have 23 and here we'll have 22. And I'll divide it up into sections. The first division here is uh, 20 and 2 and over on the here we have 20 plus 3, so that's 20. So this little rectangle in the top is 2 by 3, and its area is 6. And that correlates with the right-hand side of this uh, multiplication being 6. Now I'm going to actually cut it up a bit further into tens. So this 20 by 20 square in the bottom left is now divided up into four sections, each measuring 10 by 10. So we ha uh, have a look at where the 23 is, that in the cross addition of 23 add 2, giving 25, it's actually 250. And the cross addition is really 230 plus 20 equals 250. Well, the, the 230 on the diagram is here, it's, it's 23 by 10, this area. The area of this is 23 by 10. And the 20 is up, up here, so that's 10 from here to here. 2 times 10 is 20, that's that area. And now you can see that the shaded area needs to be doubled to give all, this, all those uh, four sections and that's why the doubling takes place. And the part on the right remains unchanged. <coughs> so that's one explanation of why this works. And then we'll carry it forward a little bit. We can move it up to an example such as um, 494 multiplied by 498. Both of these numbers are close to 500. And I'll take 500 as the working base and 1000 as the real base. 1000 divided by 2 is equal to 500. So uh, that division there uh, uh, tells us that we, whatever we get on the left here, we will have to divide it by 2. Now the three zeros in the real base indicate that we need three digits on the right, so the uh, deficiency from 500 here is 0, 0, 006, and from here is 0, 0, 002. And we multiply on the right, two, two sixes are 12. On the left we cross, subtract to give 4, 9, 2, and then we'll divide the left hand side by 2 um, to give uh, 2, 4, 6, 0, 1, 2 as the, as the answer. <coughs> uh, the next example we'll, we'll look at um, 200, let's say 251 multiplied by 257. Here uh, I'll take the working base is 250 and 250 is a quarter of a thousand, so it's a thousand divided by four. Our surpluses are zero zero one and zero zero seven, and uh, and one times seven, of course, is seven. Then we cross add on the left to give two, five, eight, and now we have to divide the left hand part of the answer by four. Falls into twenty five goes six remainder 1, and falls into 18, so we go 4, remainder, 4, remainder, 2. And we have to carry on dividing this, uh, 4 into uh, 20 goes 5. So we have this as the, the uh, left-hand part, 258,000 divided by 4 gives 64500. Zero, zero. And we have, of course, to add in the, uh, the, the, uh, the 7 there, so it's 64507. <clears throat> I'll also be showing next how we can use this to square numbers 
which are close to uh, a base and uh, that uh, is a very nice, nice uh, method. I'll show that in the next video.